Well, if you take a stroll in Minneapolis or St. Paul, chances are you've probably seen his work. Phil Vandervaart has been painting signs across the Twin Cities for more than three decades. His work was featured in a book called Sign Painters by Faith Levine. And in this video you're seeing here, calling attention to the men and women who are dedicated to design with a brush. How he got his start on storefronts is what makes him a Minnesotan to meet. Phil Vandervaart has always been up for adventure. I was one of those kids that hitchhiked to San Francisco. After landing out west, he decided Minnesota was the perfect place to call home. All the places I traveled, I just really liked Minneapolis. So he moved back to the Midwest just in time to start a new chapter of his life. I moved here on my 30th birthday. His first job was not painting, but rather behind the wheel. I was driving school buses, and uh, I, for extra money, I washed the uh, school buses in the uh, on the weekends. And then eventually, Vandervaart got a taste of what he's doing now. He was making these little one one pencil line markings where R, what all these letters would be, and then taking a brush and freehand lettering. Soon he was painting storefronts all over town. I did all these little antique stores and a bookstore and a piano store and um, uh, all kinds of little coffee shops, just all kinds of stuff. His art scatters the streets of Minneapolis and St. Paul. Places near the University of Minnesota like Palmer's Bar, Midwest Mountaineering, and Cedar Cultural Center. I always considered my signs like like half a living and half public art, you know. So like what I'm putting is going to be visible. I want to make sure it looks good because, you know, why not? You know, it's going to be there for 20 years, maybe. Uh, if it's a restaurant, it'll be there for at least five. His latest project is for clockwork. It took him about a week. Everything I do is then totally visible to the public. So um, after 30, almost 35 years. Um, Sometimes you, you do a building twice. And in this case, this is the fourth time I painted this building. 35 years later, he is still waking up every morning doing a job he loves every day. So this clockwork building is uh, along Hennepin Avenue. And Phil told me when he first moved to Minneapolis, he lived basically right across the street from that building. So oh, he sure. felt like it was kind of coming full circle. And it's where he uh, did a lot of his business. He uh, rented a space and lived in that and, building. Yep, and worked. So he also said that things have changed a little bit. When he first started uh, to talk to his clients, people would sketch their ideas. Now it's gone more toward graphic design and the computer. But he says he really does appreciate a good old fashioned drawing when he gets it from his clients. Because he says people don't do that anymore. They're always using the computer for everything. Well, and that's some of the beauty of his work. Like when you look at a number of the signs he's done, it does have that kind of that personal artist touch to it. Yes. You know what I mean? Where it, it looks hand done. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like he's doing a computer image. And it's cool to see that now because like you said, they are so much on computers yeah. and it's so easy. Yeah. It's see, at least I don't think it's easy, but it, you know, you plug something in, you plug in a formula, but for him to go and do yeah, that, I think it's really Beautiful. Fun. Very mm -hmm. good. Thanks, Sally. Mm -hmm.